Hi, I've been asked by a number of viewers to do a video on straight razor shaving. Well, I don't shave with a straight razor, but I can point you to some good resources for straight razor shaving. Probably the most popular uh, resource is the website straightrazorplace.com. It's run by a fellow by the name of Lynn Abrams, who is considered by many to be the uh, internet authority, if you will, on straight razor shaving. So go over to straightrazorplace.com and check that out. He does have a video online you can view. Uh, I tried to actually, uh, while I was doing this video, to import part of that video, but my video editing software didn't, didn't like it for some reason. But anyway, that is definitely a place to go. He has recently put out a DVD for sale uh, with a huge amount of data uh, regarding the straight razor honing, stropping, sharpening, all the different things about straight razor shaving. There's also a PDF or a book on straight razor shaving put out by Dr. Chris Moss, a physician in Canada, that you can find on the homepage of shavemyface.com. And uh, also there is a DVD put out by a professional barber that is uh, related to straight razor shaving. All these links and information are going to be in the program notes of my video here. So cut and paste those and start checking them out. Finally, uh, Badger and Blade did have a DVD section on uh, straight razor shaving. So with Joel's permission, I am uh, showing a little bit of that here to whet your appetite. I'm going to show you how to strop a straight razor. You want to start with the canvas side and go in an X pattern lightly. You want to do that somewhere around 10 to 15 times. Then you want to switch over to the leather side and again do the X pattern. Make sure to roll the edge. Don't try and turn the edge on this side. If you do that, it's going to dull the blade and cut into your strop. These are real sharp, so you always want to make sure to turn it back on itself. And again, you want to do this about 10 to 20 times as well. And then that's how you strop a straight razor. <clears throat> you want to make sure to stretch the skin. So you come around and you pull and get the skin taut. Make sure to use a light touch so you don't cut into yourself. Then stretch the skin down on your neck. Start on the other side, pulling the skin back. As you can see, it's okay to double back and shave on the same spot a couple of times. You want to get the chin area and kind of roll your lip down. And the chin's always the trickiest part. It's real easy to cut yourself up pretty good, so be careful in this area and be nice and slow. You want about
about a 30 degree angle. If you want a real close shave, you do the same thing, but against the grain. And you start upwards. And this part looks a little dicey, but it's really not too difficult. But when you've got the blade coming up against your throat, a lot of people get nervous. Usually I'll follow up with an alcohol base aftershave, which can really burn sometimes if you cut yourself up like I have. This is just some Parasso alcohol and witch hazel based aftershave. Take a little bit, splash some on your hand, rub them together. That'll disinfect and soothe your skin after shaving. And if you so desire, you can add a moisturizer or spray on a little bit of toner afterwards.